This week we're doing pretty simple white on white project. One of the first things you're going to want to learn about when painting furniture is wood types, especially when using light colors like white. The reason is that some woods bleed. It will look like a stain coming through your paint. I started with this beautiful dresser in great shape. I think it's maple wood. It is solid and it is heavy. Just by looking at it, I can tell it's going to bleed. I will show you what to use to stop that, but first, let's remove this hardware. I covered the holes in Dixie mud and let that dry. Then I sanded that smooth. I also sanded the top to get some wood grain. I used 120 grit sandpaper for this. After that, it was time for some cleaning with white lightning. Another very important step is a good cleaning for our paint to have a clean surface to grab onto. Now it was time for Dixie Belle Boss. I have a 2 inch mini brush for this as well. Let's be Dixie Bell Boss comes in clear and in white. Since I'm going to paint this dresser white, I will be using Boss in white. Other than me that can make you feel the way you feel when I hold you. I think I said enough. This is how we will stop our piece from bleeding through. Boss is a stain blocker and I will use three coats of it. Here we are in the car. goes on like paint. It's very easy to use. I applied it everywhere I wanted my paint to go. While that dries, we can work on the top. I like to wipe it down with mineral spirits before I stain. It cleans the area real well, removes any dust left over and opens up the pores of the wood for our stain to go into. We're looking good here that mineral spirits will dry in just a few minutes. Now we can stain. I'm using no pain gel stain in pickling white. Just Stir it up a bit and dip a towel in there and start spreading it around. I worked it really hard and the wood just soaked it all up. Normally, you want to wait 24 hours between two coats. But it was so dry, I added another very light coat one hour later. After three coats of bows and gel stain, I moved my dresser indoors. Before painting, I like to lightly sand over the boss. Now for my color, I chose Fluff White Color by Dixie Belle Paint. 
It's going to be hard to see on camera, but it's a beautiful white color. That is my to-go white color. Not too bright, not too dark. Just right. Because we used Boss, we will only need two coats of this for solid coverage. So you guys voted for what kind of hardware this piece needed and cup poles were the winner. When I, see the I have some warm gold gilding wax laying around and we're going to add some on my hardware. The hardware is looking like a bronze color and I would really love to look more like a gold color. You know, just a little bit of gold, gold. Gold is very important. <laughs> Now for the top, here's a little trick I love to use when staining. Use a paper bag like the ones from grocery store as a super fine sandpaper. It will leave everything so smooth. Try it, you will love this trick. I promise you. Now it was time for some protection and I'm using Big's Mama Bada with orange smell. I'm using a wax brush also and I really love this smell. It smells like oranges still. Big's Mama Bada is all natural wax and it has essential oils in it. And I know you will love, if you're a lover of the natural waxes, you will love Big's Mama Bada. Just work some wax on and then wipe off the extra with a towel or cloth and then you are done. I love how it looks too and I found myself using it more lately. And who doesn't like black dog hair flying everywhere while waxing? So fun, like... Now that our piece is waxed, it was time to add the hardware back on and we're done. came out so beautiful, my client loves it and you can never really go wrong with white dresser or white collar. I really hope 
you liked this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up, leave a comment below and subscribe if you haven't already. I will see you next week with a new project. Bye guys! Bye 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 bye!